Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. In the last episode, we completed the game. We got like the Just Monica ending, but I wanted to start new and start fresh, so I uninstalled the game and reinstalled it. And now everything is back to normal, and I wrote some things down that I want to try in this episode. And the first few things I want to try involve messing with the game files. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to delete Monica from the game straight away. I want to see what the game is like without Monica. Just right click that and ba blam you're gone, Monica. So let's click new game and let's see what happens. See how he said da da da. What? This? What is this? Oh no. No. This can't be it. What? This can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop! Please make it stop! Uh oh. Okay, the game crashed. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, let me restart it. End. Oh god, come on! I thought I would never have to see this bullshit again! And I can't even click out of it. Okay, so if you delete Monica from the game straight away, this is the ending that you get. That is so fucked up. And also, there are no more characters in the characters folder. Look at this. If I click this... Nani? I copied the characters into another folder. Let me paste them all right here. There you go. Okay, let me close the game and restart it. Okay, so when you close it and restart it, all the characters are back in the game. Let me try deleting every single character. Monica, Natsuki, Sayori, and Yuri. Sayonara, mother suckers. Let me click new game, and let's see what happens. Oh, no. What? No, not this shit again. No, it's the same words! Come on, Sayori, no! Oh, God, it's gonna happen again. No. Yep, it happened again. Okay, fuck this. Another thing that I want to try is deleting everybody's character, but just copying Monica's character profile, and then just paste her a few times. Wait, it just says copy. So that's not going to work, huh? Nope. I was trying to see if I can have four Monicas in here, but that's definitely not going to work, right? So yeah, I have four Monicas. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd- what? Hold on. I copied like four Monicas in there. Oh, but now the characters got copied either way. So I deleted them and put four Monicas, but then they got re-added to the game. Okay, so I don't think that I could do that. And another thing that I wanted to try is to see if I can re-add Sayori to the game after we go into a room and you guys know exactly what happens to her. And also, I want to try to get the true ending. I looked that one up on how to do it, and it's pretty weird. So this is part of the thing that I have to do. I have to make my poems about Sayori the first time around, and then right before the hanging scene, I have to reload the game and then make everything about Natsuki, and then go all the way to the part of the hanging, and then reload the game and then make everything about Yuri, and then I proceed to go through out the whole game and then I'll get the true ending. There's a lot of steps that I gotta take but first I want to see if I can re-add Sayori to the game after she's deleted. So let me just try to make these all about Sayori. Friends, that's Sayori, okay. Family, so Sayori likes the friends and family shit. I see. Okay, last word. I'm gonna try to make this about Sayori, so... Misery? Okay, there you go. So I think this poem is about Sayori. Let me skip some of the text and if I end up hanging out with Sayori, then that means I made this about her. So hopefully I did. Yes! Okay. She's close to me. And this is about Sayori. There you go. I've never seen this one before, though. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll read that again in my own time. But for now, I'm just gonna try to skip through this. Just so I can get that true ending. Okay, so now we're back at the second poem. I gotta make this one about Sayori again. So, disaster. Nope, that's Yuri. Massacre? No, nope, that's Yuri again. Shit! Sweets? No, that is Natsuki. Melancholy. What the hell? I keep going for Yuri. There you go. That one is about Sayori again. I think I did good. Yes! I've never been here before. Okay, there you go. We're hanging out with Sayori again. That's what I like to see. Okay, and now when I have to choose to hang out with Yuri or Natsuki, I chose Natsuki this time, but once I reload my save, then I have to go with Yuri again. Right up into the point where I have to check on Sayori to see if she's okay, I have to reload my game, if that makes any sense. So I am gonna unskip this, and then I'm gonna say, I love you. And now I just gotta skip through, and then right at the point where she's hugging me. There you go. 
Then I reload my save. This is so confusing. Like, how the fuck did people figure this out? People know these things. The internet is a crazy place. And the reason why I'm skipping this stuff is because you guys have already seen me play through the whole game. I'm pretty sure this is all the same exact text. But yes, this is the part right before Sayuri is left hanging around. So I am going to reload my save. And this time we are going to do everything, but we are going to write the poems about Natsuki. So Natsuki likes everything that is happy and jolly and stuff. So let's go with fireflies. Wait, that's Sayori? What the fuck? Lollipop. There you go. Rainbows. That's Sayori too? Strawberry. Valentine. Twirl. Kawaii. Puppies. Oh, this one's a hard one. All of these can go for like Sayori. I guess hearts? Oh, that's still Sayori. Shit, fuck. Joy. That's Sayori again. Vanilla. Okay, I really need to nail this one. I think it is charm. Oh my god. This is probably gonna be Sayori again, huh? Let me skip this. If it shows me hanging out with Sayori, then I think I messed up. Okay, I'm with Natsuki. Hallelujah! Okay, second poem, guys. We gotta nail this one. Ribbon. And then giggle. Because who doesn't love to giggle? Fireflies. That's Sayori. What in the ass? Bunny. Anime. And the last one is games. Yes. I think I nailed that one too. This better be Natsuki. Come on, guys. Everybody cross your fingers. It can't be just me. Come on, Natsuki! Show me that second cutscene, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got Natsuki for a second time. I mean, in my original playthrough, I ended up writing most of my poems about Natsuki. But I think in order to get the true ending, I need to do it all again. Since I uninstalled the game and then reinstalled the game. I think. I don't know if I'm doing this right. For all I know, I could just be having two thumbs up my ass and I could be doing this wrong. But who knows? We are about to figure it out right now. So now they're asking me who I want to go with in preparation for the festival. I chose Natsuki the first time. This time we are going to go with Yuri. Alright, and now that she's here at the house... Right before I go to check on Sayori, I need to reload my save, and then I need to make everything about Yuri, and then that's like the final step, and then I just proceed through the game as normal. So I need to tell Sayori that I love you again, and then we are gonna unlock her cutscene, ba-blam, and right before I check on Sayori, yes, I need to go to settings, no, don't go to settings, I need to load, and then go back to the first day that I went into the literature club. And now I have to make everything about Yuri. So I need to choose words that are pretty dark. Like anger. No, that's not Suki. Okay, everything that's like dark but not like mad. I have no idea. What the fuck is Yuri even like? Let's see. She likes broken. No, that's Sayori. Scars. That's Sayori again. Okay, I guess I don't really know Yuri. Me and Yuri, we're not close. We're not like this. We're like this. Horror. That's definitely Yuri. Yes! Okay. Two more. I gotta pick Yuri. Empty? No, that's Sayori. Shit. Um, uh, which one is it? Which one is it? Essence. Yes! Okay. I think I got Yuri. Come on now. Give it to me. Give me that cutscene, baby. Yuri? Yes, I think this is it. My hands are getting warm and very sweaty. Yeah, baby. Okay. We got the first Yuri cutscene. Now I just gotta nail the second poem. Unrestrained. Okay, that's Yuri. One more. Let's go for... Covets. Okay. This might be Yuri. Yes! Okay. We got Yuri again. So now I don't have to make the poem specifically about anybody. I just have to play through the game as is. Which means I need to check on Sayori in her room. And uh, I don't want to see that again. I like this song right now. I like the angelic like... Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just messed up in the head. But I'm looking at the game files, and Sayori is no longer with us. I want to try to add her back into the game, but now that I'm on the quest for the true ending, I might as well do that first, and then I'll add Sayori at the very end. So, let me just skip through this. Alright, here we go, guys. Now everything is messed up. So, I just play through the game as normal, and then once I'm at the part where it's just me and Monica, then I need to delete Monica straight away, and that's how you get the true ending! Wait, it says you have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell in for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. 
I don't think I've ever gotten that poem before. Which girl wrote me that? Hold on, let me check my game files. Let me see if anybody wrote me anything. Nope, it's still just happy thoughts and the trace back. I know I unlocked a poem in the first run that I had, and it was from Natsuki. It was about like getting beaten, and it was about like her abusive father. And then I got another special poem. I think it was from Yuri, but I don't know who that poem was from. Let me know in the comments below, guys. So right now, I don't think it matters who I choose, so I'm just gonna pick random words right here, and we are just gonna continue. What the fuck? Okay, something that still confuses me, guys, and I'm at the part where Yuri is about to do some crazy-ass shit. Something that still confuses me is this have a nice weekend right here that I can't open. Like you double click it and then this stuff just pops up. I mean, when I played through this originally, I opened it with notepad and this is what popped up. This gibberish right here. This G2PILVCCJ stuff right here. For all we know, it could be like a satanic ritual, but I have no idea what it is. I don't even know how to decode it, but that's the only thing that I can do with that. But we are about to see Yuri do what she does. Yes. And here we go. I really don't want to see this again, but I guess we have to in order to get to damn true ending. This is the part where she takes me to that random place up in the sky. And now I have to delete her character. So let's go to the other world. There we go, Monica. Thank you. Love you. There we go. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yes, there you are. No, there you are. Okay, so we got Monica right here. We are just going to delete that ass, and did we do it? There we go, okay. So hopefully I did this right, because this took me a while, guys. Jay, what's happening to me? Oh, you know what's happening. You know exactly what's happening. It hurts so much. Help me, Jay. At this point, when I played through it the first time, I felt really bad for Monica, and I don't think that she's the bad guy in this game. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I forgot that was gonna happen. Did you delete me? Yes, I did. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Jay. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I'm so sorry. That makes me feel bad. Like, I legit feel bad right now. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Jay? You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Well, you know what? All my ex-girlfriends said that to me before, so get in line! And I'm kidding, by the way. Nobody's ever said that to me. I don't have girlfriends. Okay, so now the game reset, and it's gonna be the same thing, just without Monica. Just like when I played it the first time. But now, instead of having the ending that I got in the first run, it's gonna be something new. So let me skip this stuff, too, because it's pretty much gonna be the same dialogue up until the end. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us through our hard times, and you helped us all get along with each other. Do you get it, Jay? Because I'm president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, did you? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. I sure did. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. Well, you know. But, all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know? After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you, Jay. Come visit sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We... We all love you. That was it? Nope, nope, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, I can hear you. It's Monica again. Are there any new files in the game folder? Nope. To the special player who achieved the special ending. For years, I have been enamored by the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an interactive art. 
Some let you explore new worlds. Some challenge your mind in brand new ways. Some make you feel like a hero or a friend, even when life is hard on you. Some games are just plain fun, and that's okay too. Everyone likes different kinds of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy for fictional characters, or they might be exploring feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. If they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reasons we have a thriving video game industry. My own favorite games have always been ones that challenge the status quo. Even if it's not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something wildly different may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limitless bounds of interactive media. I extend my true gratitude to all those who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being part of my literature club. Love, Dan Salvato. Script file is missing or corrupt, please reinstall the game. And there you go. That is the true ending of Doki Doki Literature Club. Was it worth it? I have no idea, but we got it. Okay guys, so the last thing that I wanted to check out was to see if you could put Siori back in the game after you know what happens. So in the character folder, I only have Monica, Natsuki, and Yuri. And right here, I have another folder with the characters. So I am just gonna right click and copy and paste that ass. Siori is now back in the game, but we are gonna click new game and let's see what happens. Okay, a bunch of that gibberish. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she just don't care. That girl is blah 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 blah, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let blah, 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 catch up to me. All right. What the fuck? Okay, uh, is she still here? Yeah, she's still right here in the game folder, but she's not in the game. Okay guys, so I skipped through a big chunk of the game and Sayori does not pop up anywhere, but she is in the background of the classroom. It is hanging up on the back of the wall. That is some serious fucked up shit right there. But anyway guys, that is gonna do it for this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I just wanted to mess with the game files a bit, see what kind of secrets I could uncover, and I also wanted to get the true ending. If you guys want me to try anything else in this game, make sure you let me know down low in the comments below. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!